Neonatal compartment syndrome of the forearm. There are only few cases of compartment syndrome in the neonate. This can be a difficult diagnosis. Compartment syndrome in the neonate does not present itself with the classic P's, as is seen in adults. diagnosis is usually made retrospectively after the patient had complications. The condition usually occurs in the first 24 hours, usually in the forearm, usually unilateral, and more in the dorsal aspect. There are some risk factors. The mother can be diabetic. There is some hypercoagulable state like polycythemia, prematurity. The actual cause is not known. However, it can be a combination of extrinsic compression and the hypercoagulable state. You want to avoid missing the diagnosis. So the infant will have a swollen, tense forearm associated with skin lesions on the forearm. The skin may have erythema, bully, edema. The skin lesions will be present at birth and usually at the forearm. The patient may also have pseudo paralysis, may lack spontaneous limb movement. There might be some nerves involved also. The clinical diagnosis of compartment syndrome will be made after exclusion of other conditions such as infection, vascular injury, and amniotic band syndrome. The infection can be cellulitis or can be necrotizing fasciitis and both should be excluded. The treatment of a neonate compartment syndrome of the forearm should be early diagnosis, and immediate fasciotomy. Ischemic muscle contracture will develop from missing diagnosis and from delaying the treatment. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.